Hi there, thank you so much for joining me. I'm Tracy, I do upcycle tutorials. I upcycle clothes, purses, accessories, things like that here on YouTube. And I just got a question um, recently from Dawn that I'd like to answer because I've gotten this question before. What does my sewing machine table say? So here's what Dawn writes. Hi Tracy, I love your videos. Will you please share the story of your painted table that I sometimes see your sewing machine on. What does it say? Did you paint and design it? Well, I'm gonna give you more of a close up here and I'll answer your question. Okay, before I talk about the table, this is why I love my sewing area. Do you see that turkey out there? Let's try to zoom in. Wait. Oh, I can't zoom in. Okay, so this was just an old wooden table that I got in an auction and I typically didn't pay more than $10 for any pieces of furniture. I would sell things in my booth spaces that I painted and upcycled basically. And I loved this for a sewing table because it extended and it could fit into a small space without the extensions or it can expand if I needed a lot more room. I used to sew curtains and things like that so I needed lots of space. And so how I painted it, <laughs> I can't even tell you how I did. I know I painted this sort of a cream and I painted this like a beige color and then I decorated it with some sort of staining technique. And, you know, I just sort of improvised when I did things. So I don't have any formula or any explanation what I used and how I used it. It was so many years ago. And I still have the old tag on here. I only was asking $90 for this. And I guess I was booth number 14. You had to put your, what the item was, what your booth number was, and your price. So I just leave that on there for old time's sake. I painted this poem on here in cursive and dark brown paint. And it is by Ralph Waldo Emerson. And the poem says, the days come and go, but they say nothing. And if we do not use the gifts they bring, they carry them silently away. 